to make a really quick and easy breakfast that your kids will love. This recipe is super simple. Your kids can make it with you. If they're a little bit older, they can probably make it for themselves. These are easy banana pancakes, and we've got a few ingredients. Bananas. I pulled these out of my freezer. You probably have a lot of overripe bananas in your freezer. You can make banana bread, banana muffins. You can use them for smoothies, but these pancakes are a really good way to use up those leftover bananas. Bananas like this that are really pretty are good for eating right now, but they won't make good pancakes. We want them to be nice and sweet and nice and soft so they'll mash up really easily. Got four eggs, some cinnamon, some baking powder, some vanilla, and a little bit of salt. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mash up these bananas. If you have them and they're frozen, they're pretty mushy already. You don't really have to do a lot to them. Just gonna pop those in the bowl. Pretty cold. Then we're gonna mash them up. I've got a potato masher here. And the frozen ones will mash up very easily, very quickly. Once we get those bananas mashed up, we can add the rest of the ingredients. We add our four eggs. And then we're gonna flavor it a little bit. I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. The banana flavor is pretty strong, but you just want to enhance it a little bit. And also just going to add a little pinch of kosher salt as well. So I'm going to whisk all this together. And you'll end up with a pretty thin batter. It's not going to be thick like regular pancake batter. You've given that a really good whisk and all the eggs are beaten in you can take it to the griddle and cook them okay so our griddle here is nice and hot i've greased it with a little bit of sunflower oil and now we're going to put our batter on got a little scoop here you don't want to make these pancakes too big because they do spread and you want to be able to flip them so i'm just portioning out the batter a little bit at a time I think I'll do six I'll probably be able to get 12 to 14 pancakes from this mix so I'm gonna let these cook and when they've firmed up we're gonna flip them okay these are ready to flip the edges are set, they're a bit bubbly, and they're looking a bit drier. So we're just gonna delicately flip these over. Sometimes it's helpful to have two spatulas. You gotta really let these guys set, or they won't cooperate when you flip them. See, and that one I made it too big, I didn't wanna flip. So let these cook just a little bit on the other side because they're mostly cooked by now anyway. You can just test them on the top, see if they feel squishy. And they're almost ready to serve. They're getting there. They're lightly browned on the other side. And they should be set. So we'll dish these up. So here's the finished pancakes. I'm going to put some maple syrup on these. And my son's going to have these for breakfast before he does his online English class. And I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.